But before we start the review, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below and join the discussion. Also, don't forget to tune in for the Ukrainian Bloggers podcast, which happens every Monday and Thursday. Uh, we pulled up that someone said there was a, a priest that said you were the second coming of Jesus. Is that real? Where does it say that? Hey, man, read. Make sure you go online and <laughs> read certain know. things. Where is that that's at? That's in Google. <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah. That's on Wikipedia. Hello, and welcome back to Cell Reviews on Statistics TV. I go by the name of T Cell. Apologies for my voice. I've had a mad weekend. Uh, Labs and I were performing at the Red and Leeds Festival for two days, like Friday and Sunday. Lost my voice completely. But safe to say, that BBC introducing stage was torn up. It has to be said that YBN Corday is not, he's slowly making his name really known, uh, pretty much. But before we go into YBN Corday, I, I, I feel it's best to give a context to YBN and what they really stand for. YBN is actually really an, an acronym st which stands for Young Boss N Words. Now, now YBN consists of a slew of members, but the, the ones that stand out the most is actually Omar J, Namir, and Corday. Um, granted, Namir and Omar J are actually a lot more well known. Corday actually uh, had to pretty much come at, come at it from a different angle, come at it from a different way. So when the YBN D mixtape came out, YBN Corday actually didn't really feature much on it. Um, it was pretty much the Namir and the Omar J show. So, Co but Corday that didn't really stop him with pretty much this song that i had everyone talking and it was called old n words Here's up. Yeah. Old and new is now what's the Here's difference up. all in the same boat in a stuck position so when the old talking i don't listen they don't know every day we make tough decisions now old n words pretty much got circulated it pretty much reunited the debate with the old school new school and ybn's touch on it pretty much gave a grounded perspective from an from a news head hearing all of these things and um pretty much it was it was quite ref refreshing to see the whole scene was pretty much talking about that uh even i uh, got an interview on on big boy tv so boom <laughs> so i had my car in my neighborhood in my neighborhood and i had a flat tire and like this og uh, in my neighborhood, he was helping me change it. Mm -hmm. You know, niggas ain't know how to change a tire. I grew up right. by a single mom. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't know how to change a damn tire. So he was helping me uh, change the tire. And we was just having a really dope-ass conversation. And I was like, damn, this doesn't happen. Because it's just a disconnect between the older generation. Mm -hmm. Not even in music, just mm -hmm. in life. General. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In general. And I was like, man, we need to, like, uh, I think I said I think it's because we need to listen more. He was like, Nah, we just got to start showing y'all more, mm. you know. And that really stuck with me. So having that conversation with uh, the OG in my neighborhood, and then hearing 1985, like I just came up with like that, you know what I'm saying? Perfect Recorded story. it in my crib. It was perfect. Yeah. So it's really dope. That being said, that being said, he went on to also release Kung Fu that same year, and he went on to release Locationships before releasing. Um, Lost Boy, the album. Now, the album the album features the likes of Anderson Pack, Ty Dollar Sign, Pusha T, uh, Aaron Ray. It also has the uh, likes of Mick Mill on the project as well. So it's it's quite an enticing cast. If, I'm, if I do say so myself, I kind of do want to hear, kind of made me want to hear what they had to say. But anyway, back to the album. Now, for this album, I gave it a an MP3 download let me explain ybn corday actually done a very good job in juggling a lot of themes that represented and went back to the title the lost boy which pretty much i love that when it's actually consistent with the title when it has a meaning to it it's not just thrown in i loved how every theme all kind of intertwined kind of connected to each other i do think that um I do think that the way that it, um, the way that it ended, it may have given you the ideas of okay, he's lost in religion, he's lost, he's lost with. Uh, there were so many sub themes in it, but I do think that the underlying theme, he is more into spiritualism, and um, uh, and a lot of tracks actually gave this away. But the first hint of this was actually in the street law skit, where he pretty much was kind of mocking religions uh, as a whole um but at the same time you go forward to grandma's house that skit again him him or him singing with it singing 
uh, songs about God in with his grandma and also him uh, always having the hope that he's gonna be fine, that God has got him, like he you know he's here because of God, kind of cements the idea that he is actually a spiritualist, and um and pretty much and pretty much the album centers around this theme. Uh, there were so many things that he explored that could show you why. Uh, how you could be lost or how he was lost and the album in itself when he reached family matters was when i was able to actually piece together and be like yeah he's talking about spiritual spirituality it kind of brought together the growth and it kind of brought a a, conclu- a fitting conclusion to a lost boy now found now the track the actual track lost boy found is they really do a good job in conveying this he was like you know the, he was kind of just repeating the themes that he was already talked about but if you have this underlying theme in your mind you would actually see how he has come to find himself i mean after uh, after he, he was he did he demonstrated that he was lost through religion he was demonstrated that he was lost through uh the streets through poverty through different people's ideals family matters kind of brought it all together to kind of show that even though he was lost and like you know like he, like the family has always been there for him there's never they have never let him down and it was actually very bold of him as well in in his age to actually speak out on something that is very deep, very deep and that is the things that goes on uh within a family that not many people talk about such as abuse in relationships such as uh it was very good for him to actually bring a light to this to these subjects different people in in, in families can actually go through these things and um, they don't talk about it they suffer in silence but he, he can perceive that they're not okay which kind of speaks to his spirituality because you may like he may not be trying to say this but it shows how much of an empath he actually is um to actually be able to feel all this people's different emotions and, and and you know kind of empathize with them and it kind of gives him he, he flips it into a superhero because when empaths from what i do know about empaths is when they take on people's emotions kind of it kind of drains them and they don't function as well but he managed to turn it into a superpower and like you know like he now turns it to kind of help uh to kind of motivate him kind of it kind of um gave him a goal to work towards you know what i mean so that he can tell the, the um so that i'm guessing in the future he's gonna be telling these people's stories for them he's also i'm also theorizing to say that he's also going to be uh, making albums to kind of talk about these problems i really i yeah i like the way he approached this album i was i, I was very impressed now the tracks that are highlighted in this is pretty much um, nightmares are real. That's in my crate easily. Uh, RMP featuring Anderson Pack. That's also in my crate. Broke as F is in my crate. Family Matters is not necessarily in my crate, but is it is a track that really did stood out to me. And it's one of those tracks that if I was to hear off the album, it really will perform. <laughs> it, it's is deep thinking i would actually listen to that again and again to kind of appreciate the environment i grew up in in a way that's what it helped me to do even though me and my family do have you know you know like um no family is perfect you know what i mean um but that album kind of reminds me that even though they're not perfect they've also got a lot of things going on and they they, they don't want to see me fail if that makes sense so this is good art i actually thought he he done a very good job on it um i gave it a an 84 percent out of 100 i do think there's a lot more to come from it. i'm very i'm very eager to actually hear what he has to say i'm very eager to 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 see how he builds on some of the concepts that he has brought out i hope he continues to make this type of content especially it really impressed me because of his age and as well as you know its authenticity and uh, and how he was able to deliver this with such bonus thank you so much for taking out this review i'm curious to know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know what you think of the album what you think of the rating and yeah like uh, in all fairness i do think ybn Cordae has got a bright future i do think the ybn collective as a whole 
as a very bright future because of the variety that the how how different these three artists are it kind of reminds me of the Migos as well in terms of take off being uber lyrical the most lyrical one out of all of them but offset is very energetic and quavo had just has that uh, just sorry offset is very got those ablets for days that a lot of people like you know it's very relatable and then you have quavo who's who is who just brings a lot of energy, energy to a track i kind of like but i do think that ybn they are very very different i saw uh, or um almighty j and namir perform so i do like the way that 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 these guys uh, uh, do perform on stage on my ej and namir i do think that as they grow it's gonna be they're gonna be becoming a lot more of a spectacle but anyway yeah do let me know what let do let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section um thank you so much for checking out this review and i hope you have a good day bless